before we do any pelt work, it's important to stretch. Um, so we're going to start by stretching uh, all the muscles that we're going to use during the class, which we actually do footwork in the class. Uh, so we're going to be stretching our legs as well. We're going to start by stretching the inside of our legs by just leaning out towards one leg. Get as deep as you can, slowly, without adding too much pressure. If it burns uh, too much or hurts, it's too far. And we're just casually going to get blood flow to the area. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Uh, this is stretching the groin muscles really well, uh, and the tendons running up the inside of our legs. Now to add pressure to our stretch our calf muscles and the tendons behind the knees, or something that's going to pick up on our heel and lean forward. Same thing, but this is also going to get a little bit of our back and both legs really well on the calves. Now, because we'll be doing a lot of sword work, we use our sword to help us stretch. So I'm going to use my sword to stretch my shoulders. moving it to get blood into the joints and to get a good stretch. The more I lean, the more it stretches my wings and my sides. shoulders and body moving. Uh, something we also stretch using swords all the time that a lot of people don't. Thanks to Count Gemini, we're going to stretch our hands and our wrists to get blood into our joints. If you're stretching it too hard where it's causing pain, if you're doing it too much, take it slower to stretch less. Should be pretty well warmed up to move. And should do a total of uh, about 15 minutes of exercise? Um, or I mean of stretching? For stretching total, we've already done a lot of pre-stretching. Um, just stretch all your joints for about 10 minutes or so. Get everything warmed up and keep moving uh, before you start your pelt work. Um, you definitely don't want to do it hard enough that you're hurting yourself though. Uh, so just enough to get the blood flowing.